what's the difference between cooling tower and a chiller? So the how I define a chiller is a piece of refrigeration equipment that has a hydronic evaporator. That is a form of chiller. Doesn't matter the type of compressor, doesn't matter the type of condenser, none of those things have any effect on what makes whether it's a chiller or not. If our evaporator it has a hydronic function, meaning it's using water or it's using a brine water, glycol water mixture of some kind, regardless of what's flowing through the evaporator, we are cooling a fluid, a, 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 a water of some kind, hydronic based, then we have a form of a chiller. Now this scales from teeny little process chillers that might cool a CT machine all the way up to, uh, you know, the biggest of the centrifugal that exists out there. So like that is my basic definition of a chiller. Now cooling towers are used on a variety of applications in a chiller context, we use it to cool our condenser water. So we have a water cooled condenser that we're flowing through. Now by say, when we say water cooled, it could still be a brine mixture, meaning that it has some kind of glycol or other um, non-freezing agent included. So it can run at lower ambience uh, safely, but we'll have something like that um, running through the, the chiller to take the heat away and the cooling tower will specifically be located outside to reject that heat. Now cooling towers can be used on a variety of applications. We could use it for water source heat pumps. We could use it for self-contained equipment where basically it's an indoor air handler with all the refrigeration built in and we have a water cooled condenser and that water cooled condenser just pushes the uh, out to the cooling tower all the heat. Cooling tower throws the heat out, sends cooled water back to the condenser but all the evaporator, we, uh, those aren't considered chillers because like with a self-contained, you still have a air over evaporator coil. We're still moving air across a coil through, it's an air handler with a blower, like all that process is still happening. It's so it's just a regular air conditioning system with a water-cooled condenser. So cooling towers are still used in other applications outside of just chiller equipment. Um, but essentially a cooling tower is just cooling water, but it's usually condenser water specifically, or it's water that we're using to cool a condenser. Now we could get way off into the weeds on specialty applications and how they can be used as an economizer function. Then we start talking open loop and closed loop towers and like we could get way off into the weeds here. Sorry about the mic there. Um, but on a basic level, that's what it's doing. It is a sub, it is a, um, not a sub device, but it is, this cooling tower is serving the chiller or internal cooling equipment by rejecting its condenser heat instead of having an air over condenser coil or something to that effect. That is what our tower is, is doing. And that is where they're separate. So there's usually not any refrigerant under a basic application. There's not refrigerant flowing through a tower. Um, that would be a remote condenser. And there are those. So we do have things like remote condensers where uh, we have a, a system similar to a self-contained where all the basic components are inside, but the condenser has been moved to an outside location somewhere. And we have refrigerant piping running out to that remote condenser. And it is actual refrigerant and a little, um, air cooled coils sitting out there with condenser fans. Like those also exist, but those are not considered towers. They're remote condensers. So when we say a cooling tower, we're referring to something that is processing condenser water in, in terms of a chiller. Uh, and then the, it gets far more specialty applications from there as we can use it in various ways. And, and the style of tower then plays a part into what all it can do in its own context. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've, I've committed, I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do and to be able to educate, help others and grow and help this industry take step, steps forward. 
Um, so chilleracademy.com. Like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page. Uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's where I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can. Uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you for all of those that are in the Academy. Y'all are doing some great work out there. Keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given. 